In this video, I am going to be guiding you through Chapter 2.2, Demand. In this section, we'll be looking at the individual and market demand. So, what is demand? It is the willingness and the ability to pay at any given price. So, the quantity demanded is the amount of a good or a service demanded at each price level. As price increases, the quantity demanded will decrease. And when price decreases, the quantity demanded increases. So this is the law of demand. So looking at the individual and market demand, an individual demand is the demand for goods and services from a single individual. But the market demand is the total demand at different price points. So the market demand is a sum of every person in the economy's demand at different price points. Moving on to the demand curve. The demand curve shows an inverse relationship between price and quantity. And as you can see, the higher the prices, from P1 to P2 for instance, there will be less quantity demanded from Q1 to Q2. So if we look at it the other way around, the lower the prices, there will be a higher quantity demanded. Now moving on to the market demand curves. Now this is my hypothetical example with a market demand for male and female customers for a particular product. The male customers demand 500 units and the female customers demand 400 units. And the market demand for the male and female customers, which is the total market, is 900 units. Moving on to the movements along the demand curve. This is an extension of the demand curve, which is a rise in the quantity demanded caused by a fall in the price of the product itself. As demand is extended due to a reduction of price, so price, in this case, decreases from P1 to P2, and quantity demanded increases from Q1 to Q2. On the other hand, we have a contraction in the demand curve, which is a fall in the quantity demanded caused by a rise in the price of the product itself. So for instance, when price increases from P1 to P2, the quantity demanded decreases from Q1 to Q2 moving A to B. Please be reminded that price is the only factor that has the ability to extend and contract along the demand curve. So moving on to shifts of a demand curve. A shift is a change in demand at any given price, causing the demand curve to shift. And the factors that shift demand include habits, fashions and tastes, an example would be that consumers are more aware of their health, therefore demand for health products increase. As income increases, this will generally lead to more demand for goods and services. The prices of substitute goods, for instance, when Pepsi decides to increase their prices, the demand for Coca-Cola increases as Pepsi is now more expensive, so consumers will switch to another substitute which is cheaper. Prices of complementary goods are also important because when prices of petrol was to decrease, then the demand for cars will increase as the running cost of owning a car has now decreased. An increase of the population size would naturally cause demand for goods and services to increase. Heavy use of advertising to inform, remind and persuade people, especially by government, say to increase their consumption of healthy products, which is beneficial for the economy, and lastly, the state of the economy, as in a boom, spending on goods and services within the economy will increase. Demand can also shift to the left, from D1 to D2. This is caused by a decrease in the population, whether due to low birth rates or people leaving the country, which inevitably leads to less demand. Consumer preferences can also change too, as they want other products. And lastly, 
the economy might be in the recession, which negatively impacts spending within the economy as people are scared and lack consumer confidence. I hope that helped. I hope you guys have a good day. Bye-bye.